Hey guys, so right before I start the review, I do want to I do want to throw something out there because I'm just really happy and I honestly don't want to hold it in. Um, as of three days ago, I proposed to my girlfriend Mallory and she said yes. And right now, we're kind of on the track of thinking of a winter wedding next year. So I just wanted to let you guys know because I'm extremely happy and I'm also happy that I get to keep making uh, more reviews because I had to take a little bit of a hiatus due to uh, my actual day job, but now I can actually start back up. So the first review that I will be doing is on the new Amazon original series, The Tick. The show recently came out, I think, about maybe a little under a month ago, and it's really short. It's six episodes, each are less than a half hour long, and the show is based off of another live-action TV show that's based off of a um, an animated show that's also based off of a comic line. Um, I, I will say, uh, I'll start by saying I am really not familiar with any of the things that I listed. I have seen a couple of episodes of the animated series, but other than that, I have no familiarity with the source material. But I watched the show, and I thought, hey, why not do another TV show review? And I thought this was a great one to start it off with. The Tick is a nigh-invincible superhero in a blue Tick costume who arrives in the city uh, to help uh, combat crime and uncover the mysterious uh, figure who is behind the entire city's underworld. And yes, I did call it the city because that's all they really referred to. I, they didn't give an actual name. But getting back on track, the Tick himself uh, befriends or even may have been, um, you know, imagined into existence by a nervous and mild-mannered um, guy named um, Arthur who later becomes his sidekick, they come to realize that an apparently uh, long-dead supervillain called The Terror may still be pulling the strings in the city, and it's just the entire show shows them trying to uncover the truth and prove to the world that The Terror still exists. Oh, and just in case you guys hear some noises, um, me and my fiancé are actually watching after her parents' dog, Isla. Oh, actually, speaking of which, come here. Come here. It's okay. Here she is. Look at her. Isn't she beautiful? Hello, Isla. But yeah, she's, she just runs around and makes a lot of noise, so just in case you guys hear something like that, it's fine. Here's Sarah Finowitz, who you may actually recognize as the Nova Corps, uh, Nova Corps soldier, Garth and Saul from Guardians of the Galaxy. He portrays the Tick. Um, you know, he's that guy in the trailer who always said, what a bunch of a-holes. You know, that guy. He's fucking great. I absolutely loved his performance in this, and a lot of it had to do with the dialogue that's written for the character. He, he's so full of himself, and yet you can't help but love him, and he's just really funny. The way that the tick constru or constructs language in the way that he monologues is always amazing to watch and funny to listen to. It's kind of like... I don't know, it made me think of Deadpool, except without the whole uh, breaking of the fourth wall element, and not so much of the, um, uh, not so much rated R feel. Griffin Newman portrays Arthur, who I said earlier is a kind of the Tick's sidekick, and this was a flawless performance. Everything that I remembered of Arthur from the animated series... It just exudes off of Newman. He became Arthur. And you really feel bad for the character because two things are happening with him. The Tick is trying to convince him to be a hero, and um, the bad guys um, who are fighting the Tick and him are always trying to attack and coerce him. But Arthur really just doesn't want any of it. But at the same time, he wants to keep going because he has uh, very personal reasons for trying to expose that the terror is, uh, that maybe, or it just is still alive. He truly believes that he is, but he, n the entire world doesn't think that he actually is. Arthur also has a sister named Dot, portrayed by Valley Curry, and she does a really good job playing that always worried sister, and what her character basically is, is the thing that grounded Arthur back to reality whenever he went off the rails. Actually, when it comes to performances, everybody, just throughout, does a really good job and even gives some really great performances. I love every single character. And I actually loved how the villains, heroes, and anti-heroes just played off archetypes uh, that are normally seen in the comics because while the show is not in any way a parody, it definitely satirizes um, comic book cliches and it shows that the material is not only um, clever but smart. 
Going more into the story, the most fascinating thing, and what is probably, actually, I think it's the, the smartest part of the entire show, is that for a show called The Tick, The Tick is not actually the main character. It, the, the entire show is centered on Arthur himself, and it's his hero's uh, journey. And The Tick is kind of the Obi-Wan sort of character, albeit a not very bright version of Obi-Wan, I'll give it that. And he's more of the driving force, just there to propel the story forward. And since the story is from Arthur's perspective, the show goes into new options because of its different point of view. You can definitely see a different version of the hero's journey because, like, me personally, I've never really seen, um, or at least in film or TV, I've never seen the hero's journey just from the sidekick's point of view. And... We actually even get to see the tick in a different light than we would have if he were the main character. Now, that's all I have on the show. I know I normally go into a bit more detail with my film reviews, but with TV shows, it's a bit harder to go into things like cinematography, visual effects, and music, uh, just simply because it's it's a TV show. It's going to... It's going to have its highs and lows, and sometimes it's going to be different. Sometimes the uh, cinematographers and the directors and even the um, people composing the score are different from episode to episode. And while this show didn't have that issue too much, it did still have it, so it makes it a bit harder to review it. But I will say that The Tick is a great show. I mean, it has great performances, a really great overarching story, it's entertaining, and it's extremely funny. Now, I haven't come up with a rating system for TV shows like I did with my film reviews, but I will say that The Tick gives my seal of approval. Well, that'll do it for me today. Thank you so much for watching and just listening to me ramble. So, have you guys seen The Tick yet? If you have, leave a comment in the section in the comment section down below because I really want to know what you guys thought of it. And hell, maybe, maybe you can actually find some flaws in there because me, personally, I didn't really find any. Also, please subscribe if you enjoyed the video or if you just haven't subscribed yet. And uh, be sure to check out my Patreon page and help uh, support the channel. Thanks once again for watching and farewell until the next video. Bye.